Hello everyone, welcome back to Penumbra Overture. You know, last time I played this, I forgot to turn my lights off. So this time, I'm playing it with all of my lights turned off, and it's rather creepy. It's very strange how I can see my desk get illuminated, based on whether the light in the game is turned on. Very strange. Thule. Thule. I know that means something. That's gotta be the name of... I think it might be the name of, like, the project that they were doing down here. Like, this is the, the result of the Thule project or something. I just remember that name, Thule. Hmm. Alright, what was I doing? The entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. Right, I just... I'm trying to remember what I just did. I know I just... Went into here and got a key. A key to what? Old key. The key's old and scratched, but it looks to be in one piece. What is it a key to? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Yep, and that's right. This poor, poor man was dragged by something into the walls. Well, it's gotta be a key to one of the other zones. This was the storage, but it's a very big place down here. Oh yeah, I can light this up. What did I put it on my quick bar? One. Wait, I can? I can't seem to do it. Oh, here we go. You just have to do it from a very specific place. And you can turn it back off. But let's leave it on for now. Oh, come on. There we go. How much battery power do I have left? 54%? Yeah, I'm just going to keep using my glow stick. Hmm? Let's stop using my glow stick. Okay. I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to move this rock in close, I'm going to hold it tight, I'm going to hug it, and I'm going to throw it if I need to. Oh, there's text at the bottom of the screen, but there's no point in reading it now because it's going to disappear before I could have possibly read it. Can you lean? Yes, you, you can lean. I... Oh. God, I hope that didn't make too much noise. I think I could distract it using the beef jerky. Let's put that up here. Where is it? Where is it? It left. It left. Okay, I'm gonna stay crouched. I have no doubt it's still down here. It's still here. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. 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 Actually, I should not like that. I should I should not like that. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to go this direction because it is away from it. Workshop. Okay, sounds great. Let's go to the workshop. I don't think it comes here. I think I'm okay. All right, where's the you are here? There's the you are here. Right there. Workshop. Okay, so in this zone, there's explosives. The northern area and the workshop. Let's see if I can even... Let's 
scared the shit out of me. I thought it saw me for a second. Let's see if I can even open this. Okay, it's locked. I'm assuming it's locked. Yeah, locked door in the middle of the mine. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, no, no, not the flashlight. Key. 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 Okay. Let's go ahead and leave that closed. Ah, there's probably there's probably more of those damn. Dogs? Are, are they even dogs anymore? Didn't I close the door? Didn't I? There. That fucker's not getting through. I don't know what is in these bags. Mining slag, maybe. I hope so. It might be a good idea to block the door. <laughs> if that dog creature is back there, I don't want it sneaking up on me. Well, I guess I already did that. Workshop and explosives. Let's go to the workshop first. Okay. Uh, it looks like I'm probably safe for now. Ancient bags of... Oh god, you can see it. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ, I didn't know he could break the fucking door! <laughs> Jesus! I saw the door, like, barely opening. Oh, God. I saw the door barely opening. I was like, oh, God, I, I need to put some more weight here. But then it just fucking broke it. Okay, blocking the door didn't do very much good. It's not gonna move, really, is it? Fuck. I actually meant to turn that off, not move it. Oh. But I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark. Don't come here. Don't. Don't come here. Don't fucking come here. actually hit it. <laughs> Fuck you. I scared it off? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Battle music. Okay, battle music, but it doesn't seem to see me. I'm gonna get my hammer out. Did it just leave? It worked. Let's go ahead and re-block the door, shall we? It's probably going to break through that, too. I'm just going to move over here. I think this goes to the workshop. Alright, I'm... I think I'm good here. Yeah, I wonder if these are distractions. Well, if it was a distraction, I just wasted it. Yeah, over there's a workshop. Alright, let's go to the workshop. You are here.
Oh, it needs a code. A key panel. Oddly placed, and it's definitely newer than the rest of the mine. Alright, so this place has been retrofitted. It's locked. I probably need to use the panel to input a code. Not yet, not yet. I guess we can go to explosives. Just in case the dog's broken down the door. It has, or it pushed it out of the way. It's right fucking there. <sighs> See, if I remember correctly, there's actually a way that you can... The combat... You can kind of, like, be really cheap and kind of cheat out the combat, if I remember correctly. And just take care of all of the, the dogs. Or the monsters, whatever they are. And just kill them all. Um, I, I think there's a way to do that, but I don't really want to do that unless I really need to. For some reason. Like, if it gets really painful to keep encountering these dogs, maybe I'll do it, but I think it cheapens the experience. And that's one of the reasons I got rid of combat in the next game, is because it just ends up... When you put in something that can be killed, it, it just puts you in the wrong mindset for horror. You just end up trying to kill it, so I'm, I'm very willfully trying to avoid just killing the dog. Because I'm pretty sure I could. But it would probably hurt the experience, so I'm trying to avoid it. Old cartwheels and some other scrap. That was loud. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing in it. This must be the only exit, and it is caved in. Look at that. It looks like a little bowl. Almost like you could put something inside of it. Okay, yeah, this part I actually remember. So, if I remember right, I need to um, get explosives from the explosive place and put them here and blow this out. I love my workshop. It is too... Oh, it is too great a hunting ground to let others gorge their faces. One cannot help but feel four those without such delicate mousy morsels on which to munch. For Red ate ravenously, ravenously of their flesh today. And shall continue to do so. This is possible, possible thanks solely to the button pad I installed on the door. And yet, Red's mind is working somewhat backwards today. Okay, so that is a message from someone who appears to be a bit crazy and is giving me the key. The, uh, the sequence of numbers to enter to get into the workshop. So let's go back. I just know that dog is somewhere over there. That thing prowling around, growling. You're not going to feast on my flesh today. Not today. Okay. So... No, P? No. J? I? How do you enter the notes? T? N? N. Alright. So, two... Oh, I have to write on paper in the dark. This is gonna be strange. Two. One. Whoops. Four. And eight. And it's backwards, so in reality it is eight, four, one, two. Bingo! This definitely looks like a workshop. Whoa. 
What was that? That flash. God, more spider webs. I hope that hole was there before the spiders, and not the other way around. I wouldn't count on it, Philip. Yeah, I just, I love the fact. Listen to that. You can hear them scurrying about. Always, like everywhere you go, you can hear the spiders scurrying about. And I love that, that the use of like a, a constant menace that just kind of wears you down. You're always thinking that they're there. You're always being reminded that they're, they're in the walls. A box full of odd bits of string. Odd bits of string. Strange. These look like they've seen some use in their time. It can't have been much fun working down here. In fact, it must have been pretty god awful. A spare wheel. Ah, save point. And a flare, which I still have not used. Worn and torn, yet the edge is sharp to the touch. It was different, but the same that time. Like, I had more control, but over what? Is that the surface? It looks like this hole is at least three feet below the surface. The light's being refracted through all the ice. Still, though, just to see a glimpse of light, it could be a piece of ice reflecting the light, or more likely my imagination, but something's definitely catching my eye under those rocks. Under here? Something buried? Yeah. Out of there. Oh yeah, it's a pick. Pickaxe. That could definitely come in handy. An old miner's pickaxe. That's gotta be better than a hammer. <laughs> I thought I was trying to combine it with the hammer. No, I meant to put it in the slot. Let's... No, not that. Alright, I'm going to keep these in my inventory at all times. So I'll just put them in slot 1 and 2 and put the rest in the other slots. It's going to be way better than the hammer. For really anything I'd use it for. Except for hammering in nails. For that, the hammer would probably be better. All the things that you'll need to be successful as a carpenter. Looks ancient. It's so old, I don't even know what it would have been used for. Yeah, what is this thing? What does it even do? I haven't the faintest clue. Something to do with wood, I would guess. But... Looks like there's a spool... of rope or wire or something. I don't know what that's used for. I still wonder if there might be stuff inside of boxes. Hmm. It seems to be invincible. Well, I'll be damned. This box is stronger than the barrels from the beginning level. I had nowhere to go but down... The creepy, spider-infested hallway. You can hear them. Hmm, which way? Let's go towards the light. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Someone's built some defenses. An electric fence. And it's been put up recently? I better find a way to get over. Yeah, I don't fancy dying down here to an electric shock. I was gonna say schlock. No, not the electric schlock. Anything but the electric schlock.
That nah, must be what these boxes are for, right? Come with me. God, I love the physics in this game. Just just look at how many physics it has. L look at all of these physics. Most games have, like, maybe two or three physics. Maybe half a dozen physics at most. But this game has all the physics. It has every single physics. Just, it's amazing. Ugh. Just looking at these webs makes my skin crawl. Ooh, barrel, that's probably, probably a lot better than a tiny box. On the other hand, there are a lot of boxes. Alright, we're gonna get all Gary's mod up on this thing. I could even take boards. Oh, I can't get these over, can I? Oh, that's pro. You know what I bet we can do? We can probably roll them up these things, right? Am I right? I bet you can. I just gotta get it angled, right? I bet you could. That Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Uh. Okay, it sounded cool, but in practice it didn't work. Let's uh let's make it shallower. Actually, this should be like in the center. Oh no, rotate, rotate. What are you doing? No. There? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's get some momentum here. If I can get this angled correctly. And here we go. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna work. What, whoa, God, no, 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 don't. C come out of the ground. Ah, oh, shit. I broke it. It, do it doesn't work anymore. Let me try this. Hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna get something cool is gonna happen here, or maybe not, because apparently those those boards can't be picked up. So I only had those two to work from, and one is down because it's stuck in the wall. Well, shit. Come out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. It's not coming out. Alright, I'll use this board for myself. Three boxes and a board. Yeah, it's a shame you can't rotate the objects. That'd be so much better. At least, as far as I can tell, you can. I've tried, like, R and Q and... No. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I love this interact mode. It's really cool. Actually, let's put that back. There we go. Jesus Christ, board. Okay, I'm fine. Fucking slid out from underneath my feet. Oh, let's disconnect this thing. Oh, thank God. 
You almost screwed me over there, board. Looks like you're covered in Vaseline. Well, I guess early on, Frictional Games wasn't very good with friction. Huh? Huh? Seriously, though, that does seem to be the problem. It seems to be kind of like a lack of friction. The reason why it's just kind of coming out from underneath you. I wonder how easy it is to actually have friction with physics objects in games. Do most games even really have friction? I, I don't even know. Now that I think about it, it's not something I really have noticed before. But I've been looking at physics. It is ironic, though, that Frictional Games has a problem with friction in one of their games. You'd think they'd be experts. More boxes. Whee! Actually, I might need to use this battery for something. I could even reattach it if I want. No thanks. Explosives. Locked. Damn it. How am I going to get in there now? The door does look very weak and old. Could I just... bash it? Oh, wow. Damn. It was extremely weak. Nope. Nothing too practical here. I see you, Flare. Oh, that, that wasn't a flare, that's dynamite. Bit of a difference. Perfect. A gunpowder keg. There's only a small hole at the top, though. Not big enough to reach in. Hmm. Do I have anything? I don't. Need something to get it out. Why, hello. These look like homemade cherry bombs. Very small explosives. Probably soaked through by now. Oh, that's a shame. They're pretty. They're so pretty, I just want to throw them. That's totally safe, right? Yeah, it's safe. Painkillers. <laughs> Painkiller sitting on a box of rusty nails. Is it trying to tell me something? Ooh, ooh. Do you know what's about to happen here? Box within a box. Get, get straight. There we go. Perfect. I guess I can't break it open. Damn. Okay, so what do I do with the dynamite? I don't think that's enough to blow open the breach, is it? Or not blow open the breach. There isn't a breach yet, so... Oh my god, that's a stupid thing to say. If you've already breached something, then you don't need to blow it open. I try not to be in the habit of handling old explosives, but I guess needs must. Yeah, so I don't think two sticks of dynamite is going to be enough to blow open the cave. Maybe? Maybe. I genuinely don't remember. Can you throw them? Oh god. You can. Let's not have that in my quick bar. I guess I could use them to blow up one of the dogs? <laughs> I could. This place is in a serious state. Did that railing come off through disrepair? Or was it ripped off? Alright, so I need more stuff. I definitely need more stuff. Well, back out we go. Okay, 
Alright, where to next? There's the office. And actually, I think that's the only other place to go. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, no, I never actually went to the explosive. I mean, I just found explosives, but I didn't actually go to explosives. I went to the workshop. Apparently those were not the real explosives, which means there must be something very nice sitting in there. If only I had a compass. Right, well, I just need to go straight through. Yeah, just straight through. I know that dog is still here. Yep. I could throw dynamite at it. <laughs> Let's not. Where is it? There it is. Okay, good. Stay looking that way. Stay looking that way. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, explosives are... Oh, <laughs> they're right here. I'm guessing this is explosive by the fact that it has TND painted in red on it. Trin... Oh, how do I pronounce that? Trinitroto... Oh, fuck. Trinitrotoluin? I can't be right. I have no idea. Could have been used for mining operations, but I don't see a fuse. Do I seriously need to silently move this thing to where I need to blow stuff up with the dog right there? Oh god, I might need to kill it. This old cement mixer's seen better days. Oh, it even moves. A little bit. Shit. Alright, well, I definitely need to move the TNT to that place. Maybe I don't need to kill the dog. There we go. I just made things a whole lot easier. Oh god. Okay, I think it's time for a distraction here. No! Fuck! Fuck, I thought he would throw it. I didn't think he'd drop it on the ground. It must be because I left-clicked instead of right-clicked. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! He stood up because he freaked out. Fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, fuck you. <sighs> That's what happens when you look at him too long, apparently. You stand up. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Well, that was a big boat of fail on my part. So, as you can see, they're not too hard to kill, which is why you could actually easily kill them all. It kind of ruins... It kind of ruins the immersion a little bit, being able to so easily kill them. I think that's why they got rid of the combat altogether. Ew. Alright, I am hurt. I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Let's take some painkillers. Okay. Apparently painkillers stop my blood loss. Now where did this go? It was over... Wait a minute, where was it? That's weird. This TNT appears to be, like, filled with helium? That's not falling at a normal rate. Doesn't look right. Uh, yeah, where was the breach? Not I keep calling it a breach, not a freaking breach. Where was the thing... Oh, here it is. Okay. Where's the place that I need to breach? 
That's what I meant to say. Where'd I put my TNT? Ah. There's a barrel behind a barrel. Do you think it'd be a bad idea to throw the barrel of TNT? Nah. Okay. Now, I probably need a longer fuse. Actually, I probably need a fuse. Although I could just throw dynamite at it. <laughs> yeah, it, it needs a fuse though. The shafts caved in here. Could have happened years ago. I shouldn't be risking my life like this. The whole facility could come down around me. Still, if I want to press on, I'll have to clear this obstruction somehow. There must be something left here that I could use. Maybe there's still some industrial explosives lying around. There could be 20 kilos of explosives in there. I'm not lighting it without a fuse. Can I, like, take the fuse from this? No. Alright, so... I'm guessing I need a piece of string. And then I need to dip it inside of the black powder to make a fuse. That's my guess. But where do I go to do that? Actually, that should be the only dog in here. Yeah, it should be safe now. Right, so it's the northern area that I'm trying to blow open. That's that at the top left. I just got the barrel from here. Explosives. Just been in the workshop. Just been to storage, so it's... Keep thinking I'm hearing things. So it's the office I need to go to. So I need to take a left, go all the way forwards, and then take another left, and then take a right. Oh shit! There's another one. There is another one. All right, here it is. Oh. This place actually looks relatively cozy. I can see some light. Glorious light. A light. I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me. But even if I could, even if I could reach that grate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. An age-old filing cabinet. Oh. More beef. I swear, everybody in this place must have had, like, constant pain problems. Because everyone seems to have painkillers. They're everywhere. Actually, no, I'm going to leave these open just so I know I've already been here. locked. Needs a key. Rotting wooden shelves. Must be the added moisture from that grate. This whole room is putrefying. Ugh. So much paper. The Empire Typewriter. Oh, more. Lots of distractions. So much history in this place. Tied up in words. And left to decompose. It's depressing, isn't it? What is that? Backstrin. What the hell is Baxterin?
Ooh, must be for the chest. Small key. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals, naturally sewn into the rock, may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. Mind. Mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers at the Northwestern... Lead mine? Must be lead. Uh, last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures from the, for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed, in many of the miners, symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of Lysergic acid, a pH 4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. Few, lo few locals were conducive to interviews, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. In Inuit spirits, known as the Turngate, live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies continue. Okay, so they're mining lead. So they're mining lead. And apparently there's strange stuff in the rock. Which is causing psychological issues amongst the people. Or something else I was going to say. What was I going to say? What was it? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, okay, if this is a lead mine, why is there ammunition boxes down here? That's not some, that's not standard issue in a mine. Which makes me think that maybe they discovered something down here. And they started to retrofit this place. Maybe it started turning from a mine into something else. In response? Maybe. Ooh, batteries. <laughs> you get some batteries and it gives you like plus 20% power or something small like that. It really is the most inefficient flashlight ever. Officer's log. 15th of August, 1945. Command Bunker. Emergency Airstrip Zulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I've ordered maintenance to be carried out twice a week weekly from here on in, due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory, and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. And I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. Oh. There's a demolitions manual in the storeroom. I should write that down just in case. Got it. Because it sounds like I'm going to have to make something here. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my... Oh. <laughs> I should have kept reading. It's right behind me. And I will keep the key on my person at all times. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here. But the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected sometimes. I feel as if this war could end. Oh, some sometimes I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies requisition order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states we should have a full complement. One industrial ice pick. For removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. One pair of reading glasses, category 7C. In order for myself, my glasses are in rather a poor state of repair and could do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. 
The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and excavation of previously caved in areas is going to is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO, M. Major. He's of course referring to this thing. An artifact appears to be man-made. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know this man before me is Howard. I call him Father. These must be tied into what's going on here. If I keep experimenting, I may discover something useful. Or have a heart attack. Okay, so these notes. Alright, um, 1930. 1945. Alright, so yes, this place was retrofitted. It was a lead mine. And apparently there's strange stuff in the rocks that was rumored or suspected to cause... Paranoid schizophrenia. And maybe various psychological issues as well. Just, yeah, it was just causing problems amongst the people, and then it looks like later it has been used for the war effort. It's been retrofitted. So that would explain why it looks very militaristic and it's full of ammo and stuff. Ah, this has instructions on how to ma manufacture a basic fuse. I think I saw a box of string back in that workshop. That's what that box about string was. I thought that was suspicious. Okay. Big Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Chapter 13, Black Match Fuse. The Black Match Fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. But be warned, the chemicals concerned will stain clothing, and as always, due concern is advised. Materials required, string, preferably cotton, black gunpowder, and backstring. The string should be coated with a thin layer of backstring, which acts as an adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Dynamite. Inven invented by Alfred Nobel. Nobel? Nobel? I think it's Nobel. In 1866, dynamite is commonly used in construction, mining, and demolition. It has proved far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin, provided that is that it has been properly stored. Over time, the explosive component of dynamite, supposedly made safe by the presence of the diet... Ah, how do you pronounce that? Diatomaceous earth? Has a tendency to weep making an old box of the explosives liable to detonate on contact. <laughs> okay. So in other words, my dynamite might explode as soon as it hits the ground? Good to know. Materials required, one part. Okay, yeah. Don't think I need to make that. At least not yet. Text unreadable. And then simply form into short sticks and wrap in paper. Great. So we're missing some of the instructions. TNT. Trinitatrilvven, whatever that was. TNT was first discovered in 1863 by German chemist Joseph Wilbrand, or Wilbrand. But it took some years before it yielded its true potential. This was because of the difficulty of making it explode and the lesser detonation in comparison to dynamite. The main advantage was discovered by the German Navy, who employed TNT's relative explosive stability in order to cause massive damage to British warships. Their torpedoes could be detonated inside a ship's armor, rather than exploding on contact as did other shells. Armstrong's Mixture Armstrong's Mixture is included in this book as more of a point of interest than as a viable chemical mix. The formula exists as somewhat of a legend in modern, modern pyrotechnics, referenced by those knowledgeable enough to stay away from it as a death mix. <laughs> death mix. That doesn't sound good. 
Its incredible volatility make it unsuitable for almost all potential applications. Materials required, red phosphorus and barium. This mixture can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize risk to the chemist. Sulfur can substitute for some or all of the barium to slightly decrease sensitivity. Okay. Back to the workshop we go. Big Book of Explosives. Right, so get back to the workshop. I need to go straight. Yes. I hear you. All right, I'm good. Here's the string. Yep. Brilliant. One step closer to setting off those explosives without losing any vital body parts. Alright. So, coated in the Baxtrin. It's soaked in Baxtrin. So the gunpowder should stick. Or rather, I really pray the gunpowder sticks. The hole's too small to thread the, the string through. Oh, shit. Really? That's too small? Uh... Okay, what do I... <laughs> okay, never mind, you can just bash it open. Dry gunpowder. That's what I need. Wow, oh, okay. Right. With any luck, one fuse. Ready to go. There's a dog. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, where am I gonna run to? I'm gonna have to run. I'm obviously gonna have to run. <sighs> okay. I've got the fuse sorted, one spark, and this thing should go up a treat. I just hope it doesn't take me with it. Here we go! The fuse is running faster than I thought! Got to take cover! Okay. Oh, fuck you! Hold on. Hold on. Alright, if I right click, can I throw this? Nope. I, I can't throw it. Oh no, oh no. Look away, look away. Okay. It's not much of an opening, but it'll have to do. Potholing has always terrified me. Go, go, go. I guess I just went into the hole. When I look back, I can't think of what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive, or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now, now, 
I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death than kickstarting the chain of events that led me to an end up here, writing to you. I just hope, once you understand my story, you'll have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. It's an interesting way that they frame this little story, isn't it? So it's you. It's you later on in the story writing back to someone. That's you at the end. And you know that it doesn't turn out very well. It's interesting. Shipping containers. What were they transporting in these? Equipment? Some heavy duty stuff. Wonder if there's anything in them. Nah, it looks like they're empty. Yeah, this is totally. This totally looks like a, a military complex. What was that noise? Oh. The noises down here are so alien compared to the way sound travels on the surface. That rock fall almost sounded organic. I don't think that was a simple rock fall. Probably some type of protection from loose rocks. Oh yeah, I guess it's to stop loose rocks from raining on your head, kind of? Although you think it'd be over the entire ceiling. power room. I swear I just heard something. Hmm. 60% power. You know what? Let's use one of these flares. I've got so many. Wait, can I not? Can I not throw it? Oh. I guess you kind of can? Well, that is not as effective as I thought. I'm pretty sure flares are way brighter than that. It's about as effective as my glow stick. Alright, power room. There'd have to be some kind of backup system for the electricity. I think this might be part of it. Hmm, that looks explosive. In fact, I think it even says... Yeah, it looks explosive. I don't have any particular reason to go into the power room, but... These, day these days, a cable this thick could power a city block. It's cold, so there's likely no current. Let's go in anyway. Oh yeah, I remember this machine. And I remember that hole. I wonder how many accidents they had before this was put up. I shudder to think. Yeah, it's a bit of a safety hazard, don't you think? <laughs> just, just a little bit of a safety hazard. Yep. Generator spare parts. Batteries. Can I break this? I doubt it, it's metal. No. Wait a minute. I think something else just came back to me. I can't break it. But, I think... Yeah! <laughs> Isn't it strange the things you remember? Yeah, if you can't break it, use gravity. 
I love how logical and just and just simple and straightforward some of these puzzles are. Like, you don't have the power to break something. However, you can just push it over the edge. And of course it's going to break when it hits the ground. It's a huge drop. Those are the kind of puzzles I like. They're practical, they make sense, they're interesting. And they involve physics, which are just fun to interact with. It feels as if I'm leaving my body for just a moment, but not just hovering around, it's like I go someplace. What are these things? I don't want to see how much my battery increases. 59. <laughs> it goes up 10%. You find four double A's, I think those are, and it gives you 10% battery power. This is the worst flashlight anyone has ever made, ever. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to start this generator up because this is the manual for it. Steelberg Generator Type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system blower highlights just a few of the add-in improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and, wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Okay, okay. I guess I have that covered because I just got a battery. At least that's at the bottom of a shaft anyway. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare. So enjoy the new increased grease, con grease control system. Electrical insulation can be expensive to install and maintain. So the economical 7G basic model arrives without. And much, much more. Quick start guide. Alright, let's... We'll do that in a minute. We gotta collect stuff, I'm sure, before we can even try to start it. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be fun to start. Oh boy. Fuses and... Things... It's cold and rusted. Rust might be the only thing that survived down here all this time. Guess I'm gonna get this baby started. This thing's huge. It must be about 3.5 megawatts, but it's pretty old. Certainly enough to light a few bulbs, though. That's all I need. If I could just get some light down here. There. Blind experimentation never solves anything. Or something of that effect is what he said. Never achieves anything. That is complete bullshit, actually. Blind experimentation actually solves a lot of things. Some kind of protective screen, maybe. I wonder what it protect what it protected them from. Yeah, it looks like it's made out of glass. I hope it's not glass because making any protective thing out of glass is a terrible idea. No, oh, that's where the battery goes. All right, let's go get this thing. Ah. That's actually a really smart design what they just did there. If you notice, they put the ladder behind those things, forcing you to break them if you want to get to the ladder. So it basically forces you to realize that you can break those things, which will help you along with solving that puzzle with the box. Very smart. Because if you weren't forced to do that, maybe you would just assume that it can't be broken. Hold on. I want to do something first. Okay, I feel better. Now I'm not going into a dark pit. I'm going into a pit that's colored with the color of blood. Whoa. Oh great, there's voices down here. battery. Okay. It's fun to wiggle, isn't it? Wee. Whoops. 
plop that sucker in. There we go. Okay, battery in. Start a motor functional. We should be set. Alright, turn the baby on. I'm sure I don't need to do anything at all. Nope. At this generator's age, it's a wonder it sparks at all. There's probably just been a power... What the f... What, what'd you say? Oh, I can't even mess with it now. Actually... Wait a minute. Did... What the f... Did I move the lever beneath... It's... What the hell? I broke it. It's clipping beneath where it should even go. <laughs> a less disciplined man than myself might be tempted to pull it just to find out what it does. In other words, every player who gets to it, ever. Okay. So, what was the note? Where's P? Where's, there's P. Something's gone wrong with the starter motor. Need to get that fixed. Okay. Alright. Manual time. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Yeah, whatever. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Secondary flow. Which one would be secondary flow? Uh, Alright, well that's gotta be oil or something. Oh shit. Um. Uh. I have no idea. That, maybe? I don't think this is gonna work. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Alright, maybe I should write this down. So, secondary. And then cooling. Release steam. And then grease. Turn main valve. Which is primary flow. Check energy output. Oh, a pull main operation lever. Alright. Got it. Which I can barely read it because I am in the dark. So my paper is lit by my monitor's light and that's it. Right, so I did what might be secondary, maybe. Then cooling, which... Is that cooling or grease? Alright, well this is probably steam. Because it's going up. This is probably cooling, I'm guessing. Release steam. It's probably this, because steam rises. Well, no, go. There we go. No, stop. <laughs> Stay. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, something's wrong here. Yep, there's a blown fuse. Does nothing down here work? Putting the blown fuse back in isn't going to solve my problems. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, so this entire thing isn't going to work no matter what I do. That's why nothing's happening. Screw you, fuse. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I want you back. Fuse. Come here. Go. It's too far away. Oh. I've lost it forever. It's okay. Alright, so I need a fuse from somewhere. Which is obviously not in here. Yeah, it seemed too easy to be able to solve this entire puzzle just in this one room. Back out we go. More fucking dogs. Or wolves, or monsters. Are they behind the gate? I think they're behind the gate. I can't see them, but... They came from over there, so they must be behind it. 
because they're certainly not in front of it. Probably prevented access to the mine proper out of working hours. Something like that won't open without power. Okay, so that's why I need the power. Yep, there it is. But it's behind the gate, so I'm safe. I'm still gonna stay crouched, though. No reason to antagonize it unnecessarily. Alright, so I can go up if I want to. Good to know. Could maybe launch an attack from up here, or... Ow! I... Would that really hurt you? It's really not that much of a fall. It's like... It's like eight, eight feet, maybe? Seven or eight feet? Ooh. Is that, oh, fuses! <gasps> it says 50 amp fuses, but the box is empty. Still, the contents can't be far away. Okay, we're going on a hunt. Ah, there's a fuse. How to reach it. With boxes! A standard 5.5 volt fuse. Excellent. Anything else here? Ah! Thought you could hide from me. Get out of here. Wait, I, I pick, picked up the broom? Looking around, I'm not sure this broom saw much active duty. Uh. Oh. <laughs> you can sweep with it. You can attack with it. Well, this place doesn't need to be cleaned up, doesn't it? It's amazing. I remember I remember hearing Frictional Games talk about how how ridiculous the combat could become in this game to the point where some people would even try to attack the dogs with a fucking broom. It is pretty absurd, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's really a bad idea to put stuff like this in because it's just going to it's going to lead to people attacking dogs with a broom and that's just not good. It's not good. Close that shit. Okay, I've had my fun. Emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure, detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services will already be on their way, and so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves or contact the emergency services. Wait, what? Under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves. Are you serious? That sounds horrible. That sounds like a terrible idea. So like if someone needs to be helped up or something, just no, just fucking leave them and don't bother to help them? That, no, that doesn't sound right. This code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event that you are trapped in the mine with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should. One, ensure the stability of surrounding environment by gently tapping and feeling the rock. Two, once you feel certain that there is no risk of rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communication, communications device at hand, and attempt to send a distress signal using this code sheet. Wait, what the hell? Where's the code sheet? Oh, there we go. Three, sh should such a device be unavailable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue crews will hear you and arrive promptly to dig you out. Okay, so we're gonna be doing Morse code. Got it. At some point. Obviously not just yet. <laughs> 